Thank you for joining us. I'm Mark Trahant. Aliyah Chavez is away. We start in New York State, where a tribal nation is honoring victims of the mass shooting in Buffalo. The Seneca Nation announced it will fly all flags on tribal lands at half staff until all the funerals for the victims have been completed. This move comes after an 18-year-old white man fatally shot 10 black people at a grocery store over the weekend. Seneca President Matthew Pagels said lowering the flags is being done as a sign of respect. After the shooting, the tribal leader said his nation shares the, quote, sorrow, anger, and disbelief expressed by many. The Seneca Nation is located 60 miles south of Buffalo, where the shooting happened. Washington State Supreme Court Justice Raquel Montoya Lewis announced she is taking family medical leave. On Monday, the justice made the announcement that she is working with her medical team to focus on her health. Montoya Lewis is a citizen of the Pueblo of Isleta and is the court's first Native American justice. Her leave will cover the court's spring term. Officials, court officials didn't release any additional details, citing the justice's desire for privacy. The Supreme Court's clerk office will randomly select current and eligible judges to hear oral arguments and decide cases in the justice's place. In a statement, Montoya Lewis said she's looking forward to returning as quickly as possible. The High Court spring oral arguments began this week and end on June 28th. July 24th, that's the day Pope Francis is expected to travel to Canada to meet with indigenous residential school survivors. The Vatican announced last week that the leader of the Catholic Church will visit Edmonton, Quebec, and Iqaluit. His visit to Canada follows a historic indigenous delegation traveling to Italy earlier this year. At that meeting, the Pope formally apologized for the Catholic Church's role in operating residential schools. His trip in Canada in July is largely expected to be limited because of the Pope's health problems. He is currently using a wheelchair because of an injured knee. Pope Francis is expected to deliver another apology in July, and more details are expected in the coming weeks. Football is a game of strength and agility. It is usually paid, played during the fall months, but the game has become a year-round sport. ICT's managing editor, Dalton Walker, spoke to some up-and-coming players. Let's take a look. There's no mess ups here, unless you what? Unless you quit. Indigenous football excellence was on display recently in South Phoenix. The Phoenix Indian Center and its partners hosted an indigenous football combine dedicated to spotlighting American Indian, Alaskan Native, and Native Hawaiian high school football athletes. It's really popular. There's lots of um, uh, annual events that support uh, basketball and running. Not so much in the area of football, but yet we have, you know, some really um, uh, dedicated, skilled players. So today is about supporting them. It's one of those multiple avenues that we are trying to do at the Phoenix Indian Center to support our families and our youth. A priority for the combine was for it to be accessible and at no cost to participants. Many times there are camps scheduled throughout. There are plenty. However, there's always a cost tied to them. And in many instances, our target community, it's not doable for them. And so to provide a first ever free indigenous combine, why not? Priscilla Nota was excited to show off her speed at the combine. She also wanted to represent other girls not in attendance. It's cool that everyone showed up today and we all showed out. In Phoenix, Arizona, Dalton Walker, ICT News. There are around 50 indigenous athletes at this year's events. Ashley Calling Bull is making history with her Sports Illustrated swimsuit de debut. The 2022 edition of Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue will feature some pretty big names. Among the new models this year is Cree citizen Ashley Collingbull. The model, actress, and motivational speaker is one of several notable finalists. Collingbull is believed to be the first indigenous woman to grace the issue's pages. She took to social media to celebrate, saying in part, this is a huge moment for indigenous women because now the door is open for others to walk through and own this space. The 2022 issue of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit is available on newsstands everywhere.